Unam Dikan. We would hold Buhari responsible for bloodshed of northerners if CNG says. You're welcome to the news. Please listen to the details carefully. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the bell for more notifications of the news. The news details. The coalition of northern groups, CNG, has rejected Igbo leaders call on President Momodo Buhari to release Unam de Kano, leader of the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP. Igbo leaders had visited the president at Azurok on Friday, demanding that Kano should be released. Buhari would describe their request as heavy, as said he would consider it. But Coalition of Northern Groups, CNG, has described the request as an attempt to subvert the course of justice, saying those who made it should be treated as accomplices and sponsors of the atrocities and crimes Kanu committed against humanity and the Nigerian state. At a press conference in Kanu on Monday, Spokesman of the coalition, Abdulaziz Suleiman, criticized Buhari's response to Igbo leaders, saying the North would hold Buhari responsible for the blood of its people unlawfully shed through the activities of Kanu in the event it succumbs to the Igbo pressure to release him. Suleiman said that, pardon, Suleiman said, the coalition on the ground research in the southeast showed art from 2017 to 2020. IPOP under the leadership of Kano triggered the killing of more than 1,213 northern Nigerians living in parts of the southeast. Several million worth of businesses, properties, and valuable assets belonging to northerners and citizens of the of other regions were destroyed across the southeastern cities on the instructions of Unam de Kano within the same period. The coalition said it observed that the demand by the Igbo leaders and Buhari's disturbing promise to consider it without minding the number of soldiers, policemen, and thousands of other innocent Nigerians already murdered and presently physically threatened by IPOB militants on the express orders of Kanu suggest a lack of sense of responsibility on the part of those in power. Buhari's response to the Igbo leaders' demand could also signal a dangerous endorsement of the a massing of the huge number of arms already imported by IPOP terrorists and their sponsors, which are already being used to cause mayhem across the country. This has also further exposed the extent of complicity and docility of our clerics and other community leaders. We were in the forefront of urging tolerance from northerners when they came under incessant attacks but could not find a voice to speak today. Salama said the coalition, therefore, resolved among others that any attempt to release Kano will inadvertently reduce Nigeria to a completely lawless state. We are criminals of all shades who commit crime against the country and then ask their traditional rulers and other regional or tribal leaders to press for their release. The coalition also wants Buhari to reclaim his statesmanship by refusing to be cajoled into interfering with the standard principle of separation of powers and independence of the judiciary. 
one that the not would no longer remain idle when its people are deliberately targeted and masqueraded while the perpetrators are shielded by criminal treba by gods who pose as leaders one president momodu buari that the not has already realized that it places more premium on the pursuit for votes and political popularity for his party than it does for the sanctity of lives of northerners and security personnel who stake their lives and welfare of families and the service of the nation the coalition of northern groups rejected the equal leader's call on president momodu buhari to release mazi onamde khan who was the leader of the indigenous people of biafra high pop the Igbo leaders went to meet the president at the presidential villa azorok demanding for the release of mazi onamde khan unconditionally and the cng who had described the request as an attempt to subvert the course of justice saying those who made it should be treated as accomplices and sponsors of the atrocities and crimes kanu committed against humanity and the nigerian states that those people do not know the extent at which Onamdi Kano and his members has committed atrocities, killing the northerners. Over a thousand plus northern Nigerians has been killed in the in the southeast region of Nigeria. So they should not try and ask for the release of Onamdi Kano. The hyper militant and the hyper leader have committed a lot so he must face the consequences of whatever he has done if the president could allow someone who is a criminal of all shades who commits crimes against the country and release him unconditionally then everyone who commits a crime will have no choice than to ask their traditional rulers and other regional or tribal leaders to press for their release the coalition northern groups have said that if Buhari should release Unam de Kano that they will hold Buhari responsible for the bloodshed of northerners. Thank you for tuning in once again. Enjoy the rest of your day.